Polynesia is composed of over 1,000 islands scattered across the central and southern Pacific Ocean. And some that you may already have heard of are Tahiti, Fiji, Hawaii, and so much more. Some of these islands make it to the top destinations in the world, and it would probably cost you this much money and time if you were to travel to them. But did you know that there's a 42-acre land in Hawaii that allows you to experience six Polynesian islands all at once? That's like hitting six birds in one stone. Okay, you get it. Our names are Nat and Max, and since arriving in Hawaii, we've eaten some of the best food, explored the must-visit places, and in this video, we're diving deeper into the Polynesian culture as we travel through six different Polynesian islands through the Polynesian Cultural Center. So ever since planning for this trip, we quickly realized that we had to make a dedicated video for the Polynesian Cultural Center. Because there are six different islands featuring six Polynesian cultures from food, culture, history, and we can't wait to try them all. We begin our exploration with the closest island from entering the place, the island of Samoa. So right off the bat, as we enter the Polynesian Cultural Center, we already entered the first village, the first island, which is the Samoa village. It was actually very interesting because the first 30 minutes of the hour, they provide you with a show, and the chief of the Samoans explained their culture, what is Samoa, and kind of got into a storytelling on how they got their things and necessities from the tree of life, which is the coconut. Here it is, a line between us. the face, turn the face, It was really entertaining and very funny too. <laughs> yeah, it felt like a little bit of a comedy show too. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's kind of cool because after the 30 minute show, you kind of break off the different pavilions because there are hands on activities. We're gonna have that young fella there jump over to this tree. Hey, good luck, man. Good luck. And everybody's... Everybody say you can do it! You can do it! You do it! <laughs> I really thought that he's going to jump. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy enough that he got up there. It's just a matter of seconds. So fast! <laughs> There's a pavilion that you can light fire and then you, they show you how they cook. There's also a pavilion that they teach you how to weave, which is really kind of interesting to see. <laughs> it's currently 27 degrees right now at the middle of the day and it's sticky, it's humid and those, uh, what do you call it, it's like sprayers, yeah, mist sprayers yeah. are really helpful to refresh you. Now this next island was a little hard to pronounce but has another name that we're all pretty familiar with. Here's Aitaroa or also known as New Zealand. People singing inside. Okay, let's catch a show. All of the islands have a similar schedule where their first half an hour is carved for the presentation. That being said, this island showed something that would leave a mark on its audience. How do you like the haka? I like the haka. <laughs> How cute, friend. <laughs> Should we give them the Filipino haka? <laughs> it's really fun. The activities are so fun, and you're part of it. Yeah, I got to be part of a couple of activities from <laughs> Maui. 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 
they were mostly games. Yeah, lots of hand and eye coordination, which is, I think you're really good at it. Yeah, I didn't get to the last part though. <laughs> it was hard. Yeah, give yourselves a nice big round of applause. Okay, the last activity was a bit tiring, especially under the Hawaiian sun. Let's maybe go grab some refreshments. Got pretty pretty tired throwing sticks around. <laughs> playing, with sticks. playing with sticks. And we got some refreshments. So this is a lava flow, which is I think around nine dollars, which is uh, pineapple, coconut, fresh strawberries. I think there's pineapple chunks in there as well. like a popsicle. I can't believe we're already hopping over to our third island, the island of Tonga. The island's presentation is also a bit different as they take volunteers from the crowd to teach them a little bit about how they do things in the kingdom of Tonga. Now, after all that, I'm a little relieved we didn't get picked. I think I'm a little more confident performing from the bleachers. Okay, battle opposite to the person in front of you, right? You're in so, the canoe! Remember, you're gonna need to battle when you come back. <laughs> <laughs> Bye! Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Just go straight. <laughs> Aloha. So one of the activities after the show at Tonga is riding a canoe and you can even paddle it by yourself. It's really cool. So this lagoon goes across, eh? Across all the islands? Oh, yes. Yeah. It's a really cool experience. But since I'm pregnant, I'm exempted in doing the paddling. Right? <laughs> Twice the work here. <laughs> paddle, paddle, paddle. So I think there were a couple of canoe tours, right? The one you can paddle and the one that you could just sit and relax. They would take you around the lagoon. <laughs> Which one do you like? Well, you didn't really paddle. Yeah, I, I like to be the passenger. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I would say is the workers here seems really friendly. You can really see that they are having fun in what they do. Yeah, and you can see their flags from which country they came from. So we saw a couple of Filipino. Yeah, that was here. actually um, pretty amazing. I kind of remember our cruise, right? There's a flag too, and yeah, Filipinos are everywhere. Welcome to Polish Culture Seneca New Tour. My name is Captain Deitch and today I'll be your tour guide and also your engine today. So right now I'm gonna give a safety precaution. So we're gonna go under the couple of low hanging bridges. Right now you guys can also say bonjour. 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 Yeah, it's good in Tahiti. People actually speak French over there because of the colonization, yeah. Uh, and Tahiti is not a country, it's still part of a France. It's in the French Polynesia. So they are French citizens. These statue are known as the Polynesian Backstreet Boys. <laughs> so it's currently lunchtime, but instead of dining within the islands, we decided to come out into their marketplace. Here in the Polynesian Cultural Center, there is some sort of like a marketplace where there's lots of vendors, souvenir shops, restaurants, and it's actually open before the Polynesian Cultural Center opens. So the Polynesian Cultural Center officially opens at 12.30, but you can come an hour earlier and explore the marketplace. 
And we're currently sitting here at the Pounders restaurant because we got a coupon from our hotel. So I guess that's one travel tip that we could share with you guys is wherever you're visiting, your hotel likely has pamphlets and those pamphlets have coupons that you could use towards the restaurants, dining, or other activities within the place. So if you guys don't notice, our outfits are already different and we don't have the family with us. That's because it's already our second day here at the PCC. Since we booked the Ali Luau package, we also get a free admission ticket that we can use for the next few days. That's perfect because yesterday it seemed so fast and we missed a couple of islands. Now is the perfect time to come back to the islands that we missed, watch some shows, and do some activities. Mm. So big. So I think the main difference of this burger from the other burgers that we've had is this one has pineapples in it. And Hawaii being one of the places that has like an abundance of pineapples, you can literally see pineapples everywhere. And I think it's a nice touch to the burger. Now entering the village of Fiji. It's Moana's boat. This is actually a pretty interesting one. If you guys have seen the movie Moana, when Moana steals a boat and rides off to the ocean with a chicken, This is the original inspiration of Moana's boat. But I think there's a little bit of a misinformation about the movie because when Moana just pulled the boat into the water, she just did it by herself. But in reality, I think you would probably need 10 people just to pull this boat out to the water. So we're watching a show on how to make coconut oil and it smells exactly like a coconut. It's so delicious. <laughs> Now before we head over to the Fijian presentation, Max and I felt a little adventurous and got matching tattoos. It's washable though, don't worry. Okay, not that adventurous because these tattoos were painless and would wash away with water. And these kids look either impressed or angry that two adults lined up at the kids' tattoo booth. So I guess the tattoos are representation of what is your status in the village. Like this one, this one is for Queenie. And this one is for the high chief. <laughs> the Fijian show was pretty informative as expected. They showed us how Fijians lived many many years ago. Now what you're about to witness, ladies and gentlemen, is a reenactment of this Dumuni ceremony. This is where one of the rival chiefs from the rival tribes will be sending his people. We just finished with the Fiji presentation. It was actually pretty eye-opening because you learn a lot about the history and the culture of the Fijians. I wish there was something like this for our, the Philippines or maybe there is but we don't know about it because we know for sure that the Philippines has a very rich history. After watching the Fiji show, we rushed our way to the island of Tahiti. But sadly, we didn't make it. So instead, we decided to catch a quick Tahitian dance lesson. So that was a quick Tahiti dance lesson. It definitely loosened up a little bit of the tightness around the hips. <laughs> it's so hard to wiggle your body when you have this big of a stomach. <laughs> but someone definitely enjoyed it in there. Yeah, she was probably dancing. <laughs> yeah, she was. So here in the Tahiti Island, you can learn how to dance the Tahiti dance, watch a wedding ceremony, and even catch a fish. Look at the bananas! It's so low! <laughs> well, I think that's a senorita. Senorita banana. <laughs> you remember what a senorita is? Yeah, tiny bananas that you can make as a banana cube. One thing we noticed was it's less crowded today than yesterday. Yeah, I think we are missing the big tour buses from yesterday. So it's much more convenient to move around today. Yeah, <laughs> I think maybe because it's also the middle of the week. I 
ice cold coconut juice. So we're back here at the Samoa Islands because I think this is the only spot where you can buy this ice cold coconuts. And I think that's good for the baby, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Coconut juice? Yeah. But my stomach is bigger than the coconut. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Mmm. So fresh. Free from any artificial flavor. Yeah. <laughs> it's all natural. You know what I realized? Mm -hmm. They removed the green part of the coconut because you know how naturally the outside is green. Mm -hmm. So they removed it so they can chill it so it's ice cold. So good. <laughs> need to buy 10 more. So we made it to the next island, the island of Hawaii. So last but definitely not the least is the island of Hawaii. I wonder what's going to be around here. The island of Hawaii offered a variety of activities like poi making, hula lessons, and other activities. But can you guess which activity we joined? Probably some hula. Hmm, definitely some hula. <laughs> you want to play some hula? That. Wiggle. <laughs> Wiggle your body. It's so stiff. <laughs> okay, we've definitely hit our quota on hip shakes in a day. So to rest but still make the most of our time, we went to a little house where they teach you how to play the most enjoyed instrument in Hawaii, the ukulele. Garlands. Garlands. Aloha. 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 There you go. Yeah, thank me. Thank you. <laughs> Fresh orchid laces. Ooh. Smells really nice. <laughs> Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> First one's in for the food. <laughs> Oh, wow. Uh. So, when we were doing research on this Hawaii trip, there was one thing that stood out in every article and video that we've seen. is that you have to go to a luau. A luau is a traditional Hawaiian feast that is accompanied by a cultural Hawaiian show. And you can normally find luau's all over Hawaii. But we thought, where better to experience a cultural show than in the cultural center itself? It's refillable. Take note. What? Yeah. Really? Oh wow, that is so good. Bottomless. Yeah, and she said you can keep the straw because it's environmental friendly and a souvenir. So after visiting a few villages, we've come to this place called the Ale Ohana, which I think is the grand hall for our buffet. So when you book your tickets for the PCC, you can also pick your package. There's a couple of packages to choose from, but this one specifically has the luau. That's why we booked it. We're currently waiting for our dinner to start, and we're so excited for the luau. It's going to be our first time. Hawaii has truly touched our hearts in many ways. From the day we landed, we were greeted by the sweetest smiles and the friendliest aloha. And after spending time exploring Oahu, I can't say that we've done everything on this island because this island still has so much to offer. But what I can say is we found the right adventures. So shall we do another trip to Hawaii in the future?